on April 1st, April Fool's Day, Socrates sold the property, but he did so through another mortgage company. So this company with this database no longer owns property 100. So it's time to delete these from the table. And as you can see here, delete from property owners where property number equals 100. Now we just deleted. There's our three rows before the delete. You got an opportunity here to rebound. I want you to show me what the new table looks like, how many rows, if any, will be in the table, and I'll bet you're good enough to actually put the exact information in there like it's going to be. Take your time and I'll show you the results. In the top, I'm showing you the table with the three rows before the delete occurred. In the bottom, you can see exactly what would happen in our bi-temporal table when we did the delete. There are now four rows. Let's take a look at row three and four. The only thing that was updated in row three was the last timestamp transaction time. And it basically says this was closed on April 1st. Then a new row was inserted that said, yes, it's customer two, property 100. Owned this from February 14th until April 1st. And the transaction time is going to say, yes, this happened on April 1st and 9999-1231. You know, what's really surprising here is that you say, you know, there are no open rows. Row one, it's closed because it has an ending transaction time. Row two is closed because it has a begin valid time and an actual end valid time. Row three is closed because it has an ending transaction time. And row four is closed because it has a beginning and an ending valid time. You know, one of the things I said is I said, hold on a minute, my leadership will take control and I'll help you out. You see, I think you should be closing those last transaction times for Terra Tom and for Socrates because see, like those are closed. And they said, no, 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 no. You see, those are closed if someone queries it. But what if there was a mistake made? What if the insurance company received a complaint from Tom that said, you know, I hurt myself and I hurt myself on February 15th. And they go, yeah, we checked. You didn't own the property. You sold it on the 14th. And I go, no, I didn't. I sold that on the 16th. And there was a mistake that they checked on. They could go back and they could actually say, oh, we did make a mistake. We want to alter this. And then they would alter it. And then all of a sudden, that second row that had that open transaction time, this may be June when they found out, they'd say June was when we found this out and let's put another row in. So it will always appear as if that ending transaction time is open when it's really closed due to the valid time so that there can be modifications made on any errors. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. If you have questions, we have answers. Check out coughingdw.com for some great offers on our training books. Unleash the genius within.